Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're here today to look at our new Star Tank module that I've got here. I'm going to explain it in a minute, but it's a phase coherent radar tank sender, and it's hooked up on uh, the voltage inputs to the Tank 140, which is going to the Turbo, which is coming back to the screen here. We also have it running in Bluetooth to our Starlight product just off the table there a bit, and it's coming up onto the touch screen here. So um, as we take this sensor and I lift it up, which is to simulate the tank level, you can see that the uh, tank 140 is showing 58% full and the uh, Bluetooth is showing uh, exactly the same number. There. We've got exactly the same number on both. So as I move it up and down, uh, you can see that that is moving. So we've got it on a short range here for the demonstration at, um, at Metstrade. Now, the phase coherent tank radar is a very small radar chip. So now we're going to go to the board. You can see it underneath there. It can't have any other components on that side. It's got an accuracy of 2.5 millimetres, and we have this set up from 0 to 2,000 millimetres in depth. It does have a dead band. So the dead band's about 40 millimetres on the top of the tank, uh, but that's okay. When you get to 40 millimetres short, we'll announce that's 100%, and it'll give you a bit of reserve if you wish. Uh, there's the Bluetooth antenna that we've got on it, and it's also got CAN. So there's the cable coming out. There are two CAN wires that we've got coming out. We've also got a white wire that we're going to use for simple calibration in the Bluetooth. Uh, go, to, go to ground and it'll go zero, go high, and it'll go to 100% for very simple tank calibration. So the tank sender here will um, sit, it'll actually bolt in in the SAE five hole pattern there. So for a metal tank, it's got to bolt in. Any other type of tank, fiberglass, plastic or whatever, you just glue it onto the top. It does not need any penetration at all. And the way it works is in the radar sensor, is it's basically putting signals going down and very accurately measuring the reflection coming back. And as I said, it's two and a half millimetres in accuracy. So uh, next year we will have this in a battery version. And in the battery version, it will just come out in Bluetooth and uh, we can then read it um, in Bluetooth only. So just a last little uh, look at that going up and down. And um, it's uh, just a fantastic new product from Safari. How good's that?